All right. Hello, friends and people of the internet. How goes it? Ooh. Boy, oh boy. It's, uh... It is a bit weird. I know I started late. But, um... <laughs> I took a nap. I took a nap early in the day. And then just fell asleep for the entire day. Oh, well. Yo, Clam, welcome. So, yeah, uh, here we are. We're ready to play some more uh, Final Fantasy and see where things uh, take us. My bet is we're going to go beat Hugo's ass. But also, um, side quests. Nothing here yet. No. Okay. But yes, welcome, Clam. Master Luba's having fun at my expense. I wouldn't put it past him. <laughs> mm, neither would I. Oh, wait. Are you Clive? Sorry, my mind was elsewhere. <laughs> I'm Sava, Master Luba's least accomplished apprentice. Soon to be four <laughs> apprentice if I don't pass this test. Maybe I'm just not the resourceful type. People are buying up weapons faster than the Briar's Kiss can forge them, and here I am, unable to make a decent bit of kitchenware. He wants me to make a carving knife, one that embodies the spirit of Dalamil. Whatever that's supposed to mean. I don't suppose you have anything mm -hmm. to put this on about, do you? I'm afraid not. Never mind. Yeah. Ask. <laughs> that How are you doing today, guys? <clears throat> Hopefully you guys are doing well. I could give a hand. I could give you a hand if you like. I know how busy the Briar's Kiss has been, and that Lubor needs all the capable hands he can find. I'd be a fool to refuse. So, where do we start? Good question. If I'm honest, I've never made any kind of knife before. And then there's this little riddle to Ooh. The end. Art so fight prep. Dalamil. Ooh. <sighs> Sounds good. Sounds good. I see it, there's only one way we'll be solving Lupo's puzzle. We need information. The more the better. Ah, uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I very much understand. Who to speak to first? Well, there's plenty of folk in Dalamil who use knives for a living. There's the butcher, of course, and mm -hmm. any number of cooks. They're bound to have an opinion or two about the tools of their trade. All right. I think we have yeah. a plan. Let's get to it, shall we? I'll talk to every cook I can find. You speak to the butcher and anyone else you can think of. All right. Good luck. Mm. Let's hope that someone says something useful. Ooh. Ooh. Good luck, Clam. <laughs> I wish you the best of luck. Trust Lubor to take a simple test and turn it into a riddle. To get to it. The finest fabric. The most fragrant herbs and spices from the moon. Welcome, sir. Mm -hmm. What can I do you for? A question, if you don't mind. I need to know what makes a good. good. This game. This game is starting to uh. I suppose. Affect my um. Vocabulary. First and foremost, it's got to hold an edge. Most knives will make it through mm. that, no problem, but sinew dulls sheep steel in no time. Give me a blade which can slice through anything that crosses my chopping block, and I'm a happy woman. So it mm -hmm. stays sharp. Mm. Makes sense. <laughs> I feel it. <laughs> exactly. No, because uh, I, I mainly say uh because i was doing some writing earlier and there's a lot of things that kept coming up that is very similar to the vocabulary in this game are you all right <laughs> the baths are closed leave me be on second thought perhaps you are just what i need might your services be for hire that depends on the job i'd have <laughs> you save my business the baths 
the water's turned scalding hot and all the crystals in Dalimil wouldn't be enough to cool it. Yeah. I have no doubt that my woes stem from the water's source. But I can't go and investigate for fear of my customers thinking I've abandoned the place. I'm bound to these baths in more ways than one. I beg of you. Go to Dusnoff Terraces. Tell me what you find there. Sure. All right. I'll go and take a look. Wonderful. It's not far. Leave the market by the south gate. The yes, exactly. Away. The amount of inspiration this game has been giving me. In a debtor's prison. Ah. My ah. livelihood, my very life. It's been so long. It's been so long since I felt like this. Um, just like they eat off in Castle Dazzler. There is open the gate. Lubor was true to his word. Another person here in the mar I assume in the market that wants to talk about knives. Made from the stoutest stoneware. Fresh bread so, from the oven. Yeah. The butcher, yeah. Maybe no. Okay. Somebody around here is gonna want to talk about knife making. Back here, maybe, perhaps. I'll be asking for you again. Nope. Ooh, maybe. A thousand gil for a measly bunch of kids all three. You can't even kill my cat. Fucking man of the wrong. Hmm. Ooh, a chest. Nobody wants what's in this chest, right? Cool. Oh, there you are. What is it? Me no move for charter. Sorry. Do you mind if I ask your trade? Hunter, why? I have a question. Can you tell me what makes a good carving knife? I assume you use one out in the field. Oh. Um. Has to be able to put up with some punishment. Can't be dealing with a brittle blade, not while I'm on the hunt. If your knife snaps every time you use it, you'll be spending coin as fast as you make it. Times are hard enough as it is. Thank you. I <laughs> won't keep you any longer. All business, eh? Man after my own heart. <laughs> so. Carving knife should yep. be hard wearing and hold an edge. Hardly a revelation. Let me go do this little quest over here first. Never had better luck than I did. <gasps> Torgal. Love you, Torgal. We should get going soon. Ooh. Ah, I'm not too late. What is it, Lubal? A question that I neglected to ask earlier. Where is it that you're bound? To Drake's Fang. To finish Hugo Kupka. Ah, just as I thought. Then allow me to share a secret. Ooh. Drake's Fang is currently riddled with royalists. Tomeki and Walud are allies, and as you have seen, their soldiers work hand in glove. But no nation has ever before hmm. allowed a foreign army to make a barracks of its holiest of holies. Not by choice, at least. And there's more. My man on the inside of the Fang has failed to report for several days. Mm. I fear there may uh -oh. be more trouble lying in wait for you on the road ahead. <laughs> Isn't there always? If you're determined to beard the lion's den, then promise me one thing. That you will enter via the mines where the guard is lightest. All right. I've lost one Sid already. If I lose another, people will start to think me careless. I don't plan on dying. <laughs> Not before Kupka does, anyway. Well, so long as you have a plan. Ah, all right. Drake's fang should be just beyond these springs. Shall we 
Uh, I have to go around. How oh, could you do this to me? Oh, whoops. Active lore time. Ambrosia. Ambrosia. Onward. Do do. Coming through. Straight home now. All right. Gotta go beat up these things. By the flames. That explains the heat. That's a amazing ability. Ooh. Oh my god, oh my god, that's damage. Ow. Ah, uh, I missed. Ooh. It's over. It's over. <sighs> well. Absolutely unnecessary, but I just really want to do that. Ooh. Oh god. Ow. Uh-oh. Oh no. Now, <laughs> with what you're doing, now would not be a good time to lose power. All good. Pew. <sighs> That's good. <laughs> That's good to be saving a lot. Alright. Done with those two side quests. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna try to not leave any side quests behind unless unless I can't finish that side quest. Like it's locked behind something. How'd it go? But I doubt that's gonna happen. Anything useful or should I be looking for a new trade? Only that a blade should be durable and stay sharp. But I don't see how that relates to the spirit of Dalamil. 
I didn't have much luck either. All the cook said was that he needs his knives to be light. Too heavy, and they do his shoulder in. So we're no better off than when we started. Perhaps Lubor didn't mean anything with his Dalamil remark. But that can't be right. I've bandied enough words with the man to know that he chooses them carefully. <laughs> no. We must be missing something. Something right in front of our noses, most likely. No, Sub right. It's something that comes from the heart. We have to make a start soon. I can't put off making this knife forever. Agreed. Luba wouldn't like that much. Right. I've been trained to work iron. The cheap stuff, mind. But it's hard enough if you don't hammer it too thin. And it sharpens up nicely with a bit of effort. Trouble is, it's either durable or it's light. Meaning someone is going to be disappointed. Forge Master Lubor, probably. Mm. Is there no one else you can turn to? Someone who knows their metals, perhaps. Eh. Yes. The other apprentice is no better than to help me with my test. Yes. But yes, it is. Maybe there is someone I could turn to. A merchant. A favorite of Forge Master Lubor's who sells metals to tradesmen passing through the Valkroy. I bet she'd know a thing or two. Oh, off she goes. How far did you go? Uh, of course she went up there. Uh, let me finish this quest over here. The most fragrant herbs needed to a silken sock. It's in it's insane. I was hoping we'd be seeing you again. The baths grow more bearable by the moment. It won't be long now before we are back to business as usual. I'm glad to hear it. Now, tell me this. What did you find at the terraces? What threatened to make me a pauper? Not what I expected, that's for certain. There were uh, bath bombs over there. <laughs> not the kind of bath bar we want to find. That's not to say I don't believe you, though. Creatures made of flame, eh? That's something new to worry about. But I've burdened you with my worries enough already. Here, a small something by way of thanks. Right, it's high time I got back to work. With a little luck, the day might yet be salvaged. <laughs> Oh, 700 XP. Oh my god. Scarletite. Ooh. Not that I need more, but ooh. <laughs> Alright. Then call Ambrosia. Hello, Ambrosia. Off I go. Any luck? Or will you be needing help with your bags? Well, I asked her, but... Oh, you tell him. If you're looking to make a knife that will impress a master like Lubor, there are options. They're just not that viable. Featherlight adamantite knives will get passed from generation to generation, never needing so much as a lick of the whetstone. Mm -hmm. The ore is unique to Ash, so it doesn't come cheap. And it's beyond my skill to handle. Unique to Ash. Mm -hmm. Are there any materials unique to Dalamil? Something which could be mixed with iron to refine it, make it lighter. What are you getting at? You said that Lubor trained you to work iron. Then that's what he'll expect you to use. 
but he would have known that it would either be too heavy or too brittle for a carving knife. Perhaps his Dalamil remark wasn't a riddle, but a hint. If it's cheap metal you're using, then there's always limestone, I suppose. Hmm. Folk first settled Dalamil to get at her mineral deposits. And if you know the trick, it can be melted down in the furnace to drive out impurities from low quality iron. Bloody hell! That must be it! I don't suppose you know the trick, do you? It's hardly my speciality, but I've been around enough blacksmiths to know how it works. Looks like I've got some learning to do. Clive, I, uh, I hate to ask after all that you've done for me, but... The limestone? Fine. <laughs> I can hardly abandon you now. Besides... Oh, man. I don't know if this is the answer to Lubor's little riddle. I can't thank you enough, Clive. You'll have no trouble finding limestone over in the terraces. The place is bloody made of it. Then I suppose I'll meet you back at the forge. Right you are. I'll see you shortly. All right. Ambrosia. Crush it up or just throw it in the furnace. Let's go. Oh, on the other side of town. Sometimes. Sometimes. But honestly, I like this approach to Final Fantasy. Yes, it's definitely very unique. Yes, very, very much so. Is it true what I'm hearing? Yes, that's right. Onward. Yump. Up. Just have to run across this town, this little city. Mm -mm. Uh, limestone. <laughs> just gotta, just gotta walk up and pick up limestone. You know, just, just yoink. Oh. One rock looks a lot like another, but hopefully this is what Seven needs. Yeah. Just entertained by just walking up. Finally, we'll be able to get uh, um, speaking of which, do I have, ooh, would I get a new ability? Not that I'll use it, but it's just to have it. It'll probably save to unlock this one first Just look at the pots. Oh, do, do, do. The finest fabrics. I wasn't sure how much you'd need but I hope this is enough I got you three limestones Good ones, you know that. You and that merchant boat, she's had quite a gift for teaching that one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, time to see if limestone is the secret weapon we were hoping for. <sighs> That'll do, I reckon. A knife forged from the very rocks of Dalamil. <laughs> Yo, Jason, welcome. It's a fine looking blade. <sighs> I only hope Master Lubor agrees. That sounds like my cue. And just as well. I was getting tired of waiting. I'm, I'm sorry, Forge Master Lubor. Let's take a look then, shall we? First things first, Savage. Mm -hmm. I think 
this is a carving knife worthy of the fine people of Dalamil? I... I'd like to think so. Uh, but, but what do you think? What do I think indeed? <laughs> it's sharp-ish, but it won't last long with hard use. And it's heavy, heavier than it should be. You might not think it just to hold it for a moment, but sell that to a cook and you'll never hear the end of it. It looks like someone paid a visit to the terraces. The limestone was a step in the right direction, granted, but one that still leaves you short of the mark. And I was so certain I had it all worked out. I don't know who is bad. To teach you that little trick, but it certainly shows initiative. Next question. How much do you think I would charge if I'd made this? Well, if it took you even a fraction of the time it took me, I would say you could demand a heavy purse. And who would be able to pay that? Hmm? Hmm. The butcher? The hunter? The cooks over at the inn? Dalamil is home to humble traders, not wealthy lords and ladies. Rule number one in any business, Sava, know your customers. Yes, Forge Master. This is just about passable. But only just. Only just. Say you're worth keeping around a little longer. Starting tomorrow, you'll have an anvil of your own. Ooh. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I was wondering, uh, what would you do if you were asked to forge a carving knife? I'd do what I always do. Ask who it's for. If it was for the butcher, I'd make sure it holds an edge. For the hunter, I'd make it as tough as Titan. For the cook, light as a feather. And for the nobleman, I'd make it cost an absolute fortune. <laughs> exactly. Master, all right. It looks like congratulations are in order. I couldn't have done it without you. So much for the Forge Master's riddle, though, eh? The spirit of Dalamil had nothing to do with limestone or anything much at all meaning i had you run around for no good reason that's not true Just, that's all that matters you'll have a forge of your own in no time and when i do i'll craft you the finest carving knife you have ever seen fantastic <laughs> uh Goblin coin. That. <sighs> I got. I got a soft spot for blacksmiths. I love. I love blacksmithing. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. But Lubor doesn't. Lubor doesn't want to let him know of that trick because you know, <laughs> Lubor doesn't want to be surpassed. Not like that, at least. Lubor's too afraid. Mm -mm. Can't go that way. No, there's a chocobo stuck there. All right. Onward. <sighs> Let's see. What big open area are we going to go to now? Jaw obelisk. There it is, Drake's Fang. Mm. Cuckoo will be hiding inside. 
along with goodness knows how many guards, all on highest alert. You'll need to keep your wits about you if you're to reach him. So be careful. I will, uncle. All right. Before you go, Clive, allow me to apologize. <laughs> After what befell at Phoenix Gate and the crisis that followed in its wake, I fled. I retreated <laughs> to my counting house and danced attendance upon the Vicerine in the hope it would bring me favor. Oh, good. I betrayed my nation to save my skin, like the coward I am. And I'm sorry. Uncle, please. It's not too late, Clive. Rosaria is yours by right, and there are those that would help you to take it back. Had I the courage of my brother, I might already have done so, but that ship has sailed. You, however, no. Forgive me, but I cannot. I fight to build a new world now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A better world. Where men can live and die on their own terms. I was raised in a nation that strove to improve the plight of bearers. Yeah. Only later did I realize that spark of freedom did not arise by chance, but was kindled by my father. You would see me follow in his footsteps. <laughs> that is exactly what I mean to do. Not by ruling Rosaria, but by extending his ideals to the whole of the twins. Though every soul in the realm may judge my actions heresy, I am certain my cause is just. You really are just like him, you know? Mm. Thank you, Clive, for coming back to me. I am proud to call you nephew. <sighs> well then, this is where we must part ways. Wish me luck in convincing my Canvarian friend to share his considerable talents. <laughs> I mean to plunder his coffers and prove myself worthy of a place in your merry band. <laughs> Till then, my boy. Till then. Go safely, uncle. And you, nephew. We have much to catch up on, you and I. I should expect you to regale me with the tales of all your adventures when next we meet. <laughs> of course. You can regale me too, Torgo. Or has got a lot to talk about. <laughs> I'm coming for you, Kuka. Ka. Uh, Hugo. Hugo, I'm going to beat your ass, Hugo. All right, before I head out there, anything new here? No, not yet. Ooh. Ooh, oh my, this is a lot of map. <laughs> this is a lot of map. Oh my. All right. You go. This is a whole, I believe it's a whole mother crystal. Shh, no. Yes? I don't remember. Poor man.
<laughs> All right. All good, Clem. Peace, Hugo. The table shan't hurt you any longer. He sought to humiliate me. Me! If you hadn't interfered, he would be dead! You truly believe you would have triumphed had the battle continued? Titan would have ground him into dust! And how would he have done that without his head? Shut up! <laughs> you weren't strong enough, and you call yourself a dominant. Oh my. You did. You mock me, Harbert. This poor man. Do you see, Hugo? You are weak. Fuck. But so long as that fire burns within you, there is still hope. There may yet be a way for you to take your revenge. Mm -hmm. Tell me, what must I do? Please, I'll do anything. Just tell me. Ooh. Mother Crystal's heart is the most concentrated source of ether in all creation. Perhaps you could take advantage of that. Of course, the crystal would not yield her blessing to any ordinary man. But then, you are no ordinary man, are you? <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> this is treating him like a child. He is. Like Benedicta Harmon. She too drank of the ether and gained a power beyond human understanding. She did. Along now, Hugo. You need only follow the light. Mm hmm. Euthos is here. Very well, it shall be so. Yes. Oh. Oh my. If. Oh, stinky. Oh. Oh, 
Oh my. Orcs. Did the royalists bring them from Ash? Into the darkness. Are the beast men part of the Waluda army now? How the hell did that happen? Nothing around. Whoops. But the press this button. All right. Taking over the entire mine. Anything hiding around these corners? I'm going to be checking all of the quarters. Open sesame. Ow. Potion. I think that's the way through, but I'm gonna keep looking around. Ha! Look at that. A chest. Open sesame. Alright. You bitch. Be gone, stinky. Over. 
Whoa. Cool. So much XP. <gasps> I almost leveled up. Uh, not this way. Is it this way? No, because it just leads back. It is forward. I don't want to use the animal sounds. Uh, this right here. This side. I went to the wrong door. I went to the wrong door. Hello? Ooh. Favor of lightning. Jump. Stairs. This must be the way out. I leveled up. I leveled up. Hello? Oh, that's a big man's. That is a big man's. Whoa! Yoink.
Ow, I didn't dodge apparently. That did enough damage. Hmm. Let's knock the fuck out. <laughs> All right, onward, onward I go. Crystal to his own wasn't enough. He had to build his castle in it. Join hmm. some other crystal and makes a castle around it. Well, what a fancy place. Time to do another fight. Another big old, big old fight. I like that Torkoal instantly knows. He's ready for any combat. Oh! Get out of here, stinky. Whoa.
Ooh. That was bad. That was bad. Oh god. The Undertaker vanquished. Got him. Thunderstorm. It's a big lad. this mythos ethos person i mean obviously it's clive but like why is this name so important oh there's lots of dead people do this too. definitely not open sesame a hundred gill and ten sharp fangs Punch. Hmm. Steel silk. Gotta check every corner, you know. Open Tessabi. Nice Torgal, thank you. What the hell is going on? Are these things here for me? Or for him? Open sesame. Ooh. Bravery. Use bravery to invigorate uh, nearby allies, enhancing their performance in battle. Yo, bitch.
Ow. I'm thinking about stuff now. Fuck. Just thinking about even more combos now. First orcs, now these nightmares. Is this your doing, Ultima? Hmm. Hello? Anybody around? Oh. Any living person around? I'll leave those to Torgal. Bluey. Oh, I went too early. Do that. That'll end it quick. I saw that that door opens to my right. Want to see if this door opens? Cool. No. Just had to make sure. She have gone. <laughs> she, he, whoops. The heart. Ooh. He's in the sanctuary. I can feel it. Come on, Togo. Upheaval. I thought we were oh I thought we were gonna jump over the railing. That's that's why I was gonna start exploring. But this is good too. I'm fine just with casually walking down the stairs. Whoops. Open sesame.
Ow. New enemies approach. How you stink. Thank you, Torgal. I appreciate you, Torgal. You go. Dang, he really did build a fucking castle around it. My. Oh my. <laughs> Time for big battle.
Ouch. Ouch. Oh my god. Whoa. I don't understand the timing of the like the fireball combo for some reason. Whoa. Whoa. I've learned brimstone. Man's is grabbing the ceiling. The ability Brimstone from Titan. Hold and release uh, fuck it, R2 and Square to emit a violent explosion. Hold longer to increase explosion size. Press X any time to cancel without triggering the explosion. Crit is invulnerable while charging Brimstone. Okay. Whoa. Ow.
Uh, you missed. Ow, you didn't miss. Man's just ate part of the mother crystal. Okay. Go. Ah, oh, this game is so fucking cool. Oh my. Oh god. Fireball.
Uh, he done lost his arm. Ouch. Ooh. Very nice. Episode tidy. <laughs> we have turned Devil May Cry, it seems.
Oh. Oh, he won for double. The double slap. Let's throw a tentacle back at him. this fucking game.
Oh god. Uh, this game is so fucking cool. out Ow. Dodge. That's a lot of ether.
Have I mentioned that I love this game? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, I love this game so much. Where are we now? Is that you, Ultima? What do you want? Your soul is tainted with worthless human will, yet your thirst for power remains undiminished. With every sip you take, you grow in strength. And soon you shall achieve perfection. I don't know what you're talking about. You will accept us, Nuthos. It is inevitable. You were created for this purpose, and you shall serve it. Never! <sighs> Hmm. Is Joshua nearby? Thank you, Joshua. But either way. God this game. Ah. Uh. Uh. One can no more command the power of ether by drowning in its flood than one can constrain the tides by standing in the sea. Had thought Hugo wiser than this, but it seems his head was full of rocks after all. Titan was strong. Your Majesty. Ah, uh, it's Odin. Mythos <clears throat> is stronger. For five years, that man lived only for revenge fast to a fiction, even as it swept him into the abyss. One cannot change one's nature through force of will alone.
Only the Almighty can do that. Hugo Kupka, the man who gave his life for a woman's head. A fool like all the rest. Oh, that the death of a mother crystal should be so beautiful. Ah, there goes another mother crystal. Anything you need. Stop bothering me, urchin, or you'll feel the back of my hand. So rude. You must consider your health, my prince. If a show of force is needed to keep the Dalmex at bay, you may trust in your dragoons. I beg you to call on Bahamut only as a last resort. His strength comes at too great a cost. The Empire agreed to an armistice with the Republic, and yet the Emperor still plots its ruin. For now, the Dalmex suspect nothing, and as long as I can hold their gaze, war need not be inevitable. But more than that, Bahamut is the champion of the Empire. When our people look to the heavens, Stormy. the sight of him gives them hope. Oh my. Oh my. Forgive me, Terence. Would that you were my master. But alas. I will always be your loyal servant. Should the Council's brazen maneuvering prompt the Republic to tear up their own treaty and launch a new assault, our soldiers would advance to meet them, cutting across the central aisles, but not in time to prevent their forces from breaching the southern defenses and storming Twinside. And so the capital would become a battlefield. Thousands of innocents would die. I cannot allow that to happen. Hmm. <laughs> Welcome, Tyler. You will not be forced to do battle with Titan. <laughs> Would that I could avoid doing battle at all. A thousand pardons, Your Highness. What is it? <laughs> Understandable. Olivier has been made emperor. Just a child. What? The meaning of this? what? My father's orders. What were they? Quickly! Uh, yes, Your Highness. His radiance requests that Your Highness maintain position here and. <laughs> <laughs> Terence, 
Yes, my prince. I must go to the palace. I'll ready your steed. What is it now? Ah, oh, hello, Joshua. Forgive the intrusion, your highness. I know you. Addy. We stand in the presence of the Phoenix. You wouldn't want to get your fingers burned. <laughs> I hope I'm not interrupting. Not at all. Though I admit, I did not expect such a distinguished guest. How many years has it been since the remembrance ceremony? Twenty? I thought you long dead. Do I address a ghost? Many have told me that I look like one. <laughs> but no. I'm alive. Just. Prince Dion of the House Lesage. I have a tale to tell you. Mm, all right. God. So good. Game door goal. I'd better give Otto the good news. There's so many things to do. Up I go. God, I love this game. I love this game so much. <sighs> Hold on, before I go over there. Oh, Kupka got body. Don't worry about it. Is there? Hmm. Is it possible to train in... Other mode? No. I wish I could. I wish I could. I guess the ways to do this is stage replay. Bang. Aid mode. You can fight Titan again. Oh my god. I can do Titan fight. I can do uh, the Garuda fight again. I can do tricks. I can do this. Oh. Ooh, this is much better. But, like, this. I could do any of these fights again. God. I just say that I've been, I, I absolutely, absolutely adore Ifrit's design. I love it so much. Otto, give me a second. What's up, Nectar? <laughs> what you up to, buddy? Oh, four. Lots of wasps. Okay. These are in Dalmechia. Oh, all of these are in Dalmechia. Ooh, S. S. Ooh. 
Urgent notice to all curse breakers due to the discovery of a fallen giant in the Rosarian ruins. We have been, uh, we have lately been in, uh, investigating. All work in the region is to be halted with immediate effect, and all members are to proceed no further than the village gate, lest the echo should be awakened by our presence. No further action may be taken without Sid's, it's Sid's express permission. Where is that? In the Rosarian ruins. Like. Up here? No. 40 sold. Where would it be? Would be somewhere here, right? That's this is this side appears Rosaria. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Oh well. I'll do those when I whenever we're done here. Beat the shit out of them. All of our comrades who lost their lives back at Sid's place be smiling down at you right now. We had a stolas from Lubor saying Drake's fang had fallen. I expect that was your doing as well, was it? It's it's a long story. One for the history books, I'll bet. Welcome home, Clive. <laughs> it's good to be back. You look better. I feel it. Which means I'm coming on your next little adventure. You're not leaving me behind again. Wouldn't dream of it. <laughs> Otto. Any uh, word on the royalist movements since I've been away? Shouldn't you be putting your feet up? <sighs> if you really want to know, go and have a word with Vivian. Thank you. I will. I'm sensing that my, uh, I'm sensing that I'm losing a lot of frames here. Am I losing so many frames? All right. Let's get with all of these done. Ah, the conquering hero returns. And with hardly a scratch on him. I may have picked up one or two. Well, the fact that you came straight to me instead of visiting our resident Physica suggests that you picked up something more important. A scent. The scent of Weludas. The very same. But whatever plans Kupka was hatching with the Royalists, he took them to his grave, as did his men, slaughtered by the orcs who'd taken over the Fang. Orcs, Vivian. I've never seen such creatures in storm before. The Wilders mm -hmm. must have ferried them over from Ash, but why? Why work to rescue Kupka only to invade his home, the mother crystal of an allied nation, and let both fall? It makes no sense. Do you know the tale yeah. of the blind men and the Adamantus? One can often be led astray by focusing too closely on individual details. One must instead see the bigger picture. And what bigger picture is there than my map? The kingdom of Wulud claims dominion over all of Ash. It is a nation forged by the bloody conquest of Barnabas Tharm, the dominant of Odin, the Canvarian War of Independence in 849, the Battle of the Twin Realms in 865, the Battle of Belinus Tor in 873. Wheresoever his armies fought, Odin was found where the fighting was fiercest. But of late, the warrior king appears to have laid his sword to rest. Battle rages for control of the crystalline dominion. Yet Tharm sends not a single ship in support of his Dalmechian allies. 
Meanwhile, the blight ravages great swathes of ash. Yet oh my. Yet shows not the faintest interest in laying claim to untouched lands. So why go to the trouble of sending an army of orcs into the heart of Drake's Fang? Only to make no attempt to claim the Mother Crystal for Wulud. It can hardly be for lack of men. Tharm's armies rival any in the Twins. No. We have not seen the last of the Wulud standard. Odin will ride again. It is but a question of when. And on that day, <laughs> who will be trampled underfoot? In summary, I know not to what end the royalist betrayed Kukka. I know only that it is part of some broader scheme. A scheme tied to the ambitions of one man. King Barnabas. But there is no need to wallow in confusion. If one is to cure a sickness, one must first identify the symptoms. And your Lord Uncle has volunteered to do just that by keeping an eye on the royalists' movements. <laughs> He's really throwing himself into this. <laughs> Indeed he is. Which means all that remains for us to do is await his reports. Well, not quite all in your case. The people of the hideaway must hear the news. Justice has been done. Hugo Kupka is dead. The wounds he left that Did it. are still raw. Especially for those who lived with Sid the longest. Tell them that those wounds might finally begin to heal. Consider it the price of today's instruction. I've never known you to be sentimental. <laughs> what can I say? I am only human. And we are, all of us, sentimental animals at heart. I suppose we are. Very well. I'll go and spread the word. <laughs> We're gonna go tell everybody. Around we go. Open sesame. Heo tomes, my guy. Seeking the gift of knowledge? No. To share mine, actually. Hugo Kuka is dead. He... Oh, my. Can you really be true? <laughs> Look, he's crying. <laughs> he is. The big baby. <laughs> and with good reason, children. These are tears of joy. We must offer up a prayer to your parents that the heavens might weep with us. There shall be no lessons today, only thanksgiving and merrymaking. Go put away your things. All right. Brilliant. Amazing. Finally, a new dawn has broken. It has. Thank you, Clive. I cannot wait to share the good news. Hippocrates, after Kuka fell, Ultima came to me. I need to know what he is. Have you learned anything? Hmm. No, and not for want of trying. I have scoured nigh every historical tome in our collection and found nothing. Not even the sort of conspicuous absence that might suggest a concealment of fact. One is almost tempted to conclude that such a creature never existed. But I saw him with my own eyes. I don't doubt that you did. Alas, it seems you are the only one who has. Mm -hmm. To others, he reveals naught. We see only that which he leaves in his wake. Like some terrible force of nature beyond the ken of mortal man. 
a bringer of death. Whether the Ultima you met with was the being itself or merely another projection of its power, I know not. But until I do, my investigations shall continue. Right. It means a lot. Someone looks pleased with himself. <laughs> true what I'm hearing, then. Nothing escapes you, Lady Karen. It's true. Kuka is dead. Hmm. No more looking over our shoulders, then. Good. Start Drive by redeem ahead. time. Whoa. Don't let it go to your Hello, Blazer. <laughs> Welcome. Yo, Blackthorn. Yo. What is it? I'm busy. Self care time. I wanted to tell you that. I got you, fam. He's dead. Floor time. <laughs> All right. God. They stretch. It give me a moment. All right. I'm stretching on my own. Um. Well, for those, it is self care time. God, I can't words. <laughs> I can't words right now. Uh, it's self care time. You know how it goes. Uh, go drink some water. Get hydrated. Uh, stretch. Go stretch. Go um. Deshrimpify, as we like to say. Um. Fucking go to the bathroom if you haven't. Or get some food if you're hungry, you know? Self-care time, so, you know. <laughs> Go out there and take care of yourself. Ooh, I'm still gonna be right here. Do not worry. Either way. Either way. We shall continue. All good, fam. <laughs> Try to live up to the name. Right. Let's see if Otto has anything else for me. Do do do. <clears throat> All good. <laughs> All good, fam. Earth and fury. Ooh. Not Earth and Fury, uh, Enhancer. Diamond Sword. White, ro white Worm Bow. Ah. We're getting into Minecraft territory, though. Alright. I'll make Enhancer. Not bad. If I do say so myself. You can thank me later. And then... Whenever I get some white worm bone, I'll make that. Right, I just need, uh, what's it called? That doesn't make sense. I mean, I guess, but that doesn't make sense. Oh, well, whatever. Anything else? Ooh, wait, yes. Okay, yeah. Yes, I forgot to check the uh, other things. Uh, yeah, that's going to be the better one for now. Is it also White Worm? Yeah, it's also White Worm Bone. Mm -hmm. Diamond Armlets gives me the give me one extra health. All right. Ooh. Anything better than what I currently have? Ah, oh, Silken Sash. 
Uh, it's not bad. Better. There are better things. Let me go do some reading. Desert Alliance. Sid the Second. I trust you will forgive me for putting up. Uh. Uh. Forgive me for putting up you. For putting. Give me a second. I can't read. I can't read. I can't read. Uh. I trust you will forgive me for putting you and your dear uncle to the test. I am confident that a man of your position can understand the importance of earning one's trust, especially in times like these. For what it's worth, uh, you now have earned mine, and I can assure you it shall not easily be relinquished. May this be the start of a, of a fruitful relationship. But, uh, yes, yes. <laughs> yes, Blazer, to answer, to answer your question, yes, I'm doing well. I hope... I hope you're doing well as well. I'm telling you, it's true. I heard it from Otto's own lips. Yeah. We beat him. Well, I beat him. But we beat him. Ooh. A random lore fact. Whoa, a random lore fact. Ooh. Random lore fact. Who shall we give a random lore fact from? God. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Just looking, looking at all of these characters. Hmm. Is going to be the one. Ah. All right. I think he can do. So, definitely, definitely one of the things that's been on my mind, and you've definitely seen it. Um, and it's the fact that. I want to explore uh, Silvis and Masay having a relationship, and <laughs> which is funny because the one that brings back those emotions, which Silvis has repressed for so long, is that funny little fox that's sit that's sitting right next to me. In lore, of course. But yes. <laughs> I'd never have guessed. No. She was right, though. Everyone was glad to hear the news. Ah, oh, but you ain't told everyone. I can think of plenty of friends back at the old hideaway who'd sleep more peacefully for knowing. Or at least... Mm. You should tell him. You're right. I should. And I will. Well... When you do, be sure to take Mid with you. She's been going at it hammer and tongs down at that workshop of hers, trying to do her father proud. I can't mm. remember the last time she visited the old Salt Grange. Very well. Yeah. I'll suggest it. No problem. Oh, you have missions for. How are you doing? Anything catch your eye? Let's do one at a time. Uh, definitely going to be checking out the whole stuff. All of the stuff in Dumlakia. Because there's a bunch of things to do there. Ah, 
so leathery. Ah, Clive. Your timing is exquisite as always. I have a concern which you may be able to assist me with. Go on. There are whisperings afoot of shadowy figures having been sighted outside the village. Mm -hmm. in the undergrowth, suspicious noises. My people fear that they are being watched. It may be no more than a surfeit of nerves, understandable in the current climate, or it may be the prelude to something altogether more dangerous. Given, uh -huh. I hope you'll forgive me calling your nose for trouble, I wondered if you might investigate. Of course. Excellent. You might begin by speaking with the good citizens of Lostwing. Listen to their tales and make what you will of them. All right. Have I ever played Rogue Galaxy? No. No, I don't think I had. No, I don't think I've even heard the name. Oh, there's so many people. Right. Let's see what the people of the village have to say. Oh, I have to go around. I to find out if this is just nerves or something we need to take more seriously. Mm mm mm. Excuse me. Quinton mentioned strange figures having been sighted near the village. Have you seen anything? Nah, not me, Gov. I heard the rumors, though. I'm here most days, right next to the gate, and I ain't seen nothing out of the ordinary. Don't worry. Any shady characters try and slip into town this way, and I'll soon come running. And shouting, most likely. All right. Thank you. All right. Ooh, excuse me, Chocobo. Let's see what's going on over here. talk of suspicious figures in the woods have you seen anything out of the ordinary no but i've heard something sound of scraping metal like someone sharpening a sword where was this in lorbert's pass was out foraging for herbs when i heard it screeching out from between the trees mm -hmm. I back here as quick as my legs would carry me and i ain't been back since i see I'll look into it. Thank you. All right. Seems Lorbert's pass is our best Ooh. bet then. What do you say, Togo? Shall we go and investigate? Onward. Ambrosia. Get him, Torgo. Mm-hmm. Mayhaps.
so good. All right, perhaps I shall check it out. There we go. Hmm. Why were they here? Were they planning an attack on Lost Wing? I need to warn Quentin. Quentin, there were strange people out here. <laughs> For great justice. Quentin, <laughs> there are strange people outside your neighborhood. Clive, how goes the hunt for our sinister figures? I found some black shields hiding near Lorbert's Pass. They're gone now. Black shields. The Empress's former bloodhounds, though they serve another master now. One who means to root out and destroy both me and those I care for. And it would appear the pack has finally caught the scent of its prey. Damn it all. I had hoped I would have more time than this. More time to prepare. But if we are cornered, we have no choice but to bite back. And bite back we shall. I'm sorry. You're going to need to explain. Hmm. Who do the Black Shield serve now? And why would that person want you dead? Because I want him dead. No. Oh. The former Lord Chief Justice of San Breck. All that I have built here is for him. I don't understand. Why him? Why Lost Wing? I suppose it is better that you know the truth. I was a member of the judiciary once. So sickened was I by the injustice of this world, I swore to fight it, and fight it I did in my own small way. I saw more than a few corrupt officials condemned to the very cells into which they had thrown blameless innocence, men to whom the law was but a scourge to turn against the powerless. And throughout, it was the Lord Chief Justice who backed me, who was my one true ally in the quest to see justice done. So what changed? I discovered that he hunted bearers for sport. I was a fool to think he shared my hatred of venality and vice. Mm. His support for me was no more than a facade, a means of ridding himself of his rivals, a mask to hide the rot beneath. I filed suit against him immediately. His response, however, was rather more visceral. He had my entire family slaughtered, and he faced no punishment whatsoever. I lost everything. My loved ones, my livelihood, my position, the faith I had once held that any modicum of justice might be achieved through the courts. So I set about enacting my own. I tracked down every soul who served him and slit their throats myself. But the man himself proved an altogether more difficult target. With money and power come protection. And so I saw that I would need an army of my own. Mm -hmm. I came here to Lost Wing and began recruiting like-minded individuals. And... Everyone here knows this is why you do what you do. Of course. They too have lost loved ones to the bearer hunts. Seen faultless friends sent to the gallows to spare the guilty. All under the watchful eye of the Lord Chief Justice. Our wounds are the same. And our cause is the same. We are comrades. And our revenge is already in motion. We know where he hides, how numerous and well-trained his guard. What we did not know until now, however, was that his plans may already be in motion, too. Quinton. 
Our time is short. He may move against us at any moment, unless we move against him first. My friends and comrades, it begins. Make ready for war. All right. I understand. I'm not going to change his mind. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Go back to the hideaway so I can check things are on the bounty board. And then go from there. Welcome to the Patron's Whisper. Your benefactors are a generous lot. You earned this. Mm. Best of luck out there, Sid. All right. Empty hovel, cattery in the jaw, the cake, catery. Hmm. Empty hovel, the catery, and the jaw. Okay. One here. Rest of it. Yeah, this is one of the job. Mm-hmm. Empty hovel and the catery. Off the sickle. Okay. Road that leads from Dalamil to the jaw. Mm hmm. Alright. Fields of Grava. All right, so just off the sickle and near the fields of Carava. All right, so they're all going to be in this like area down here. All right. We go to Dalmo Inn. I should went to the jaw first. Oh well. My carpet. The most fragrant herbs and spices. Come, just like that. And without so much as a bow your leaf. What's the matter? Uh, oh, it's my apprentice. He up and vanished while my back was turned. I'd go and look for him myself, but I've got a bakery to run. A bakery that's now short, one pair of hands. Loath though I am to rely on the kindness of strangers. I'm at a loss. Please, will you see if you can find him? Sure. I'll see what I can do. Do you know where he might have gone? Ah, I wouldn't be surprised if he was off somewhere mooning at Drake's Fang. He used to work there, you see. Poor fool left his heart in its hollow. All right. Then that's where I'll start. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So far away. All right. 
Teleport to the jaw then. Um, he's just standing in the middle of the road. I believe that's the guy I'm looking for. Yep, it is. The Nine of Knives. <laughs> Oh my god. Ouch. Ouch.
5,000 XP. Oh my god. That's a lot of XP. Those who kill for sport deserve no better. Hmm. <laughs> You good buddy? Good pal? Excuse me. What do you want? The baker sent me to find you. I am a sorry, selfish sod, aren't I? And certainly not a baker. Master must have rude a day took me in. Time was the sight of the fang used to calm my nerves. But now look at her. I take it you miss the mother crystal. I hated her. But she was all I knew. Worked her minds for years. And when she shattered, part of me shattered with her. I had to trade my pickaxe for a rolling pin. But I'm no good at baking. Every loaf I touch collapses. My bread's as hollow as I am. She was the only thing that could fill the hole inside me. Oh, I loved her, damn it. But now she's gone. She's never coming back. What am I supposed to do? I ask her. How does a shell of a man learn to live again? Hmm. Express yourself, question mark. It's it's one of the first. Definitely one of the first. At least that I prefer in terms of answering this question. Um <laughs> Express yourself. Perhaps you could express yourself in your work. If you miss the fang, maybe you could recapture it somehow. Yeah. Recapture it. Exactly. Oh, Baker, not a. You know. You might just be right. What a fool I've been! I have to get back to the bakery right away. Thank you, thank you, my friend. You have opened my eyes. <laughs> Got you, fam. Suppose you won't be needing an escort then. Let's go. Mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna head east from here. Once I get to like the crossroads. this way I go this way this might take a while absolutely unnecessary but oh catering down here okay A fantastic jump, honestly. He jumps pretty far with that. <laughs> Straight home now. Oh, look it up there.
Mm-hmm. Ow, you stink. You gonna come down here? This is bad. Ooh. Oh God. Oh God.
think, Mark. <laughs> that's a funny. That's funny. Ooh, Grimal can hide. Okay. That wasn't too bad, was it, Togol? Oh yeah, Ambrosia. Ambrosia. Jump. Jump. Wait. Jump. Ah. No, oh, I can't jump up. I have to get off. Steel silk. Ooh, chest. Meteorite. Nice. Hmm. Ready, go. <laughs> All right, then we keep on heading to the fields of Korova. Bitch. This is a nice place. Empty hovel, all the way over there. Go all the way over there. Around here somewhere. It'd be like a bunch of wasps around here somewhere. Oh, there they are. Soul stingers. Oh my god! Ow. I swear to God, can't even bring them down.
Ow. Ouch. There they go. Historical. <laughs> Look at it. it Looks so cool. Has to be here. It has to be a uh, thing around here, like an obelisk. Oh, let me take that off. I would assume. Hmm. Just looking around now. I'll teleport back to uh Dollar Mill in just a bit. Definitely not here. Alright. I continue going then. I travel. a fire under my wayward apprentice <laughs> though I worry you might have stoked the flames a little too high he damn near ran me down trying to get to my oven master mm. it's ready behold the drake's barn a truly unique creation I dare say it is <laughs> just look at it a perfect likeness of the fang herself her steeple peaks, her fulsome spurs, her inviting hollow. True, my loaves collapse more often than not, but what's the fang without her crater? Why, mm -hmm. no fang at all. And look, inside, she's filled to bursting with a bounty of beautiful crystals. Salt 
crystals. Master, I have found my purpose. I must use my work here to preserve the memory of the fang. Uh, well, if it tastes half as unique as it looks, I'd certainly say you're on to something. <laughs> uh, not only is my apprentice back, but he's finally pulling his weight with any luck. I might even have a new delicacy on my hands. Mm -hmm. I don't know how you did it, but you have my thanks. I have to go talk to him. <laughs> Goblet coid. Ah. And the ruins of Rosaire. No. And snow. How would I over here? I was trying to figure out where um where the thing would be. Oh wait. Thing that goes south this way. Hmm. I'm very curious. I'm very curious about that one, Mark. Because I do want to go fight it. In the Rosarian Ruin. Where are the Rosarian Ruins? That's what's getting me. Where are the Rosarian Ruins? Because going up here is how we go over to uh, this area. Unless, unless we go through here. Hmm. I want to check that area again real quick before I continue this this part. All right. Have a good one. Do, do, do. Yes, and uh, thank you for stopping by. going to be important at some point at some point I don't know what <laughs> eventually I feel like it's going to be here right Uh, lots of greens there. 
Um, hmm. <sighs> ah, self care time. Whoa. Oh, another self care time. Of course, of course. Well, it is time for self care. That being said, get your get your water, stay hydrated, fucking stretch and destrumpify. Uh, get some food if you haven't. Go to the bathroom if you need to. Um, and yeah, it's time to take care of yourself. And do not worry, I'll still be here. As for this creep. Where could they be? Because it shouldn't be here. Unless it's here. Unless it's like actually like up here. No. Rosarian Ruins. Over here? I'll check over there. Those are the only ruins that I know of. Unless it's actually talking about the, the ruins ruins. Like actual ruins. <laughs> No use calling Ambrosia now. Hmm. Definitely not here. All right. And it can't be in the Lazarus district. <sighs> over in Crusadia, maybe? Like over here? Let's see. Wait a second, this isn't even the right... Not even the right way. It's not even the right Mm 
Oh, it wouldn't be Chrysidia either. I'll go check to be sure. But I don't think it's Chrysidia either. This is where I got, um... This is where I got Ambrosia from. Walk from here. Yeah, this is where I got Ambrosia. No, 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 it's not. It's not where I got Ambrosia. Ambrosia is somewhere else. Yep. All right. I'm going to assume it's here. These look like ruins. I haven't been this far out. Ooh. That looks like a creature that is fightable. Okay. Atlas. Ooh, fuck. Fuck.
Oh, fuck. I don't like Crystal Spear. Ooh. up twice sick or a calcum Anything else 
get it around the corners. <sighs> Alright, nope, nothing at all. Back to the hideaway. All right. We're seeing troops amassing at every border. Mm -mm -mm. How may I help you today, Clive? Five fifty. Fuck. Mid, we're going out. Come on. Don't come up with something soon. All right, Clive. What do you want? I'm going to visit Sid, and I thought you might like to come with me. Sorry, I'm too busy for all that right now. I've got to get this thermal displacement stack sorted. Thermal. <laughs> displacement stack. Here. And uh, this is for. Only the fastest. Finest ship the world has ever seen. The Enterprise. <laughs> the Enterprise. Me and my dad designed it together. Where other vessels rely on the fickle winds to drive them through the water, ours is fitted with mithril engines. And those things have got more push than a behemoth in a bad mood, and more heat than all the hells put together. Which is where the stack comes in. I may have already talked some tight-lipped shipwrights into putting the hull together for me in a little dockyard in Canva. But the stack's a bit more involved, so I'm building it here. Thing is, it's so involved that I'm running behind and it's starting to hold things up over at the shipyard. I'll come and see my dad, though, when I'm done. Whenever that is. <sighs> is there anything I can do to help? Good old Clive. I were hoping you'd say that. First things first. I need some parts mechin. Mm -hmm. The sack will be made up of three major components. There's the plate in here that channels hot vapors away from the engine. The helm over the top that disperses all that heat into the air. And the shield in around the sides that stops the rest of the ship from going up in flames. A full suit of armor then. Probably best to take it one piece at a time. Then you'll need to start with the plating. Everything else fits onto it. I've got the designs and the list of materials here. Show these to Blackthorn. He'll know what to do. Blackthorn's got his work cut out from. Can't make it not tell of him. Luckily, you don't need to. You mid are insane. Let's go for it. Mm -mm. Look this way. Editors started reading books that don't have any. Mm -mm -mm. The Blackthorn. I'm otherwise engaged. Spare myself for your sake. Go on then. What is it this time? She said you would know. Here. <laughs> Gregor's Tate. Well, I don't know what the hell you'd want this for, but I can make it. Won't be easy though. And I'll need help. Get Gavin Otto in here, will you? All right. Boy. Smithing with the boys. So Lid's roped us all in here again, has she? 
typical. Still, if that's what it takes to get her to visit Sid's grave, I'll do what I can. And, uh, what is it we need to do, exactly? Take a look at this. It's this plating. The usual saw grade steel won't work. We need something that can get very hot, very fast, and still keep its shape. That means an alloy. Something that won't break or buckle at the temperatures she's talking about. Which is where you lot come in. I need materials, and I've got my work cut out already. You'll have to fetch them. Now, there's a special kind of sand I'm after that you can only find out in the Valcroy. Stardust, they call it. As for the rest of the stuff, my usual supply should have it in stock. It just needs buying and bringing back here. Well, we'll get it done quicker if we split up. One of us should probably give you an hand collecting the sand. And the other can go and get the rest from this supplier. Right then. We'll make your minds up who's going where and we can get this over with. <laughs> All right. Uh, upheaval. Sort. Everything sorted by is. Oh my. Hmm. Hmm. Inferno. The Inferno. All right. Uh. This is a good place to stop. I'm getting a little tired. And made great progress. Beat the shit out of Hugo. Um, and yeah. <laughs> God. The icon battles are so cool. Icon battles are so cool. I love it. And like I said, I fucking hate for his design so much. Oh. Oh god. But yeah. Either way. I appreciate you nerds coming out to watch us read. Of course, whether you're an active whether you're active in chat or not, it's perfectly fine. It's a okay. As long as you guys are there vibing along, that's what matters. But yes, uh I'll be back again tomorrow. Like I said, uh, I'm gonna keep pushing through this game. Not okay, not like that. I'm gonna keep playing this game because I fucking adore it. And I'm gonna keep you guys are going to be here along the entire way. Or, well, I'm going to stream the entire adventure, whether I fucking go off into the wilderness and do nothing at all. <laughs> You'll get my whole, whole reaction, or my whole experience on stream. Either way. Either way. I appreciate you, nerds, and, uh, yeah. I'll see you guys on the next one.